I do feel that as a matter of principle that the 2% cap is there for a reason and it's designed to protect our constituents and we're here for the same reason unless we see a compelling reason to depart from it. And what I'm hearing from you is not that there's a compelling reason, but there's a compelling time frame or chronology. The fact that we lose potentially a year or two, so we hit this in 2020, assuming all goes well, as opposed to 2018, would likely mean that worthwhile projects would be delayed or possibly not funded. But I think that's a reasonable risk if it means that we have the community behind us in supporting what appear to be good, solid projects in the offing. So that's my view on it. 